Hi everybody! Welcome back to Zen Up Your Life with Sana Sakura. As I am performing a lot of tattoo conventions, I often am asked about meaning of Japanese tattoo motifs. Luckily, I know a little bit about this. One of my Western friends wanted to get tattooed something cool, so he thought about lion because lion is the king of all beasts and he likes lions. He did some research and got to know that Chinese lion is called Karajishi in Japan and there is traditional design. Together with lion, he wanted to have roses. This is the flower his wife likes the most and roses stand for love and passion, he thought. Lion with roses in Japanese style. How cool and how interesting. So he went all the way to Japan to see a Japanese tattoo master. However, the Japanese master said, Karajishi and roses don't go together. I only tattoo Karajishi with peony flowers. He said, But this is my body. Tattoo is very personal. I would like to have something I like and meaningful for me. But the master didn't agree and my friend didn't understand why the master was so stubborn. He was quite upset and asked me the reason why only peony flower can go together with Karajishi. Today, I pick up one of the most common motif to explain meaning and Zen thoughts behind Karajishi and peony flower. Designs for Japanese tattoos are often picked up from traditional woodblock prints or traditional theater. There is not only aesthetic beauty, but also deep meaning. This goes back to an old traditional legend. Needless to say, lion is symbol as king of animals. Karajishi is imaginary sacred animal. Kara means China and Shishi means lion. It is based on Indian lion as guardian. You have to understand that many Japanese art designs often come from India and China many years ago. Since there was no lion in the Far East back then, people had described each other what lion looks like. Every time somebody tells a story, lion looks a little different. So it is a bit far from real lions. There was no camera, no Instagram back then. But around the Chinese lion, there is a wonderful legend and it contains wise teaching too. Though Karajishi seems invincible animal, there is one thing he is scared of. It is certain kind of bug. These tiny parasite live in lion's fur. They multiply, go under his skin to live there, and then they slowly eat his flesh until he dies. Only thing expels bug from lion is night dew dripping from peony flowers. Clever Karajishi knows this and sleeps under the peony flowers every night. This is the only place he can peacefully take a rest. He knows that this is the safest place for him. Because of this legend, you can see combination of Karajishi and peony in many traditional art. It is perfect combination and beautiful philosophy. Even the strongest animal cannot live just by itself. It needs help by humble plant. And the powerful king knows that he can only feel peace under the peony flowers. But there is also another deep meaning. Those bugs come from Karajishi's own fur. They are tiny little and you can't see them. This tells us that problem often comes from inside. There is teaching in Buddhism. Lion is killed by bugs that he keeps in his body, not the ones come from outside. You must understand that bad Buddhists can destroy Buddhism. Not non-Buddhism people, nor any other evil. These bad bugs are a thorn in one's flesh. Even if you are the best king, you have to be aware that there are people who return evil instead of good. In your body can mean in your group, 
inside your company or organization, close by your side, or even within yourself, the bug inside lion's body. Solution is that you need peony that cleanses you from inside. Don't get me wrong, this teaching doesn't say that you have to doubt your colleague, nor same religious followers. Don't always be mistrusting. But you need to have strong inner fortitude with opened eyes. Be aware not only of what comes to you from outside, but be careful what may grow inside yourself. Money, fame, power, recognition can make negative grow inside. There are a lot of temptations, but they can lead you into the world of blindness. In Buddhism, it is egoistic to think, I can only rely on myself. Only once you meet the other I in deeper part of yourself, which is the one truth, then you can gain your peaceful place. So now you see, the king of beasts is not invincible, but he knows he isn't, and that's why he is still king. And peony flower is there, not only to be pretty decoration, but to protect him and lead him to enlightenment. Very important to have peony with lion in your tattoo, right? What or who is your peony? And where is your peaceful place to sleep? Thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe my channel. Wherever you are, I wish you will have a wonderful day or night. Bye! Mata ne!